Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you can tell, I have got a little bit of an allergy thing going on, so please bear with me. We're gonna be working on just a few cups today, so uh, hopefully I can make it through it, get back inside, and maybe get away from some of these allergies. So we'll show you what we got going on. Please hang tight. So I've got a couple of cups I'm gonna do myself. I've got two of this one, and then I've got these two. This is um, a company that reached out to me and asked if I would just do a couple of sample cups to see if it's something that they would be interested in. Um, they're kind of in the industrial look is what they're after. So we're gonna shoot these with some silver vein, let it flow out a little bit, and then we'll come in here and we'll remove these decals. I think I'm gonna do one in silver vein and one in gloss black, and then we'll send them to them and see what they think. All right, guys, so I got one of my cups set up over here in the booth. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna throw some of the silver vein in our hopper. We're gonna get it all attached to the gun and then we're gonna start spraying it. I've got my camera set up so we get a little bit better shot for you guys so you can see the application of the powder. Guys, this is just how I do my cups. It's not necessarily the way that everybody does theirs. I don't think there's either a right way or a wrong way. So once I get the cup set on the stand, I'll spray it down with either some acetone or some denatured alcohol just to kind of get any fingerprints or grease or anything that may be on the cup transfer from when I was touching it earlier. Uh, after that, once I wipe it all down, then I'll hit it with a blowtorch just to kind of make sure that any kind of moisture that may still be on there that gets burned off. And then any little fuzzies that may be on there from the towel after I got done wiping it, those get burned off also. So that's just kind of how I do it. Everybody does theirs a little differently but uh, feel free to use whatever way. I think this just happens to be the easiest for me. So what you can see me doing here with the flashlight is I'm basically spinning the cup to make sure that I don't see any shiny of the stainless steel coming through the powder itself. Just to make sure I've got a nice even coat all the way around. This way, when it comes out of the oven, you won't see any light spots. All right, so this is what it looks like after it comes out of the oven during flow out because we want to make sure that it's not completely cured before we start removing our decal to show the negative of what we've put on the cup. So basically we're going to allow this cup to cool down a little bit. We want it to get to about 130 to 140 degrees when pulling these decals. If we let it get too cold, then what will happen is, is it'll want to chip or the paint, the powder will want to chip as it 
gets pulled off and the stickers don't pull as easily. If we warm the cup up and it's too hot, then what'll happen is, is when we go to pull the decal off, it'll come off real easy, but the powder is still real wet, so it'll be stringy.
This is kind of the final look. I've got one more in the oven right now, and that one is ink black, so it's gonna be just a glossy black. But there's these two right here like this. And then let me get over to the other one so you can see that one. All right, and here we go on this one. So it's the same finish, it's the silver vein. For some reason it didn't turn out as well as I was hoping. Uh, the color, as far as the the way that the lettering and everything came out, I think that came out fantastic. So I really hope the customer enjoys these and likes these, and hopefully this will give us a little bit of business in the future. All right, so here's the ink black one. You can see it's just starting to flow out. I think I'm gonna give it just a little bit more time to kinda flow out just a little bit more, and then we'll pull it and we'll pull the decals off of it. Guys, if I hadn't said it in this video yet already, please like and subscribe down at the bottom. Go ahead and click that comment button. If you guys have any comments, please feel free to put them down there in the bottom. If you've got any tips or tricks that you can help me out with, I'd greatly appreciate it. Please put those down on the bottom as well. And I'll do my best to try to get some links in there for some of the products that we use. Just wanna say thanks to everyone for watching. I think we're up to about 70 subscribers now. We're still on our road to 100. So again, please like, like subscribe, and share. Uh, and help us get to the 100 mark. Really appreciate it, guys. Thanks for watching. All right, here we go. We just pulled it out. You can kind of see a little bit of the decal in there. So we're gonna try to let this cup cool down to about 125 degrees, and then we'll go ahead and we'll pull that decal, and we'll be back as soon as I'm done pulling that decal so you can see what it looks like right before we put it back in the oven.